hope. Look at me. I screwed up. I made the mistake of a lifetime, and I'm asking you to forgive me. Just don't let this tear us apart, because I love you, and I want to be married to you. And I'm just asking you to give us another chance. I would really like to believe that you won't take advantage. Hope and Liam's marriage isn't official in the US. Kind of a big oversight in your wedding planning. The question is, what are you going to do about it? I never wanted Hope to hear about anything that happened between Liam and me in the first place. You were the one who kept interfering. Liam took it as far as he could without trying to hurt Hope. But now the truth is out. They know about the video, we all know everything, but I had nothing to do with it. And now that it's out, I just want hope to put everything that happened in the past and move on with her marriage. God, I don't believe this. What is taking so long? It really hasn't been that long. It's probably just a lot of red tape. You know what, I don't even know what we're doing here. Marcus isn't a criminal. Justin will come through. We'll get a bond hearing tonight and get you and Marcus out of here. Oh, God. Sorry. No physical contact with the prisoner. We'll be right outside. How are you doing? Well, it's not the best time I've had, but I'm hanging in there. You? Same. Don't lie. You're flipping out, aren't you? Well, not where anyone can see. You know, I really am sorry that I'm putting you through this. Thanks, you two, for coming. My best bud's in trouble. I wouldn't be anywhere else. So, how's Anthony? Recovering. Well, thank God for that. Ah. Hey, uh, son. I'm sorry. Of course, the dockets are backed up. Couldn't get your bond hearing scheduled until tomorrow. So Marcus is going to have to spend the night in jail? Well, I'm going to talk to Bill, see if he can pull some strings and get you out tonight. I almost want to believe you. <laughs> Except for? Except I can't get those images out of my mind. You weren't exactly being supportive of Hope and Liam when you were in that hotel room. I thought it was over for them, okay? That she left him for good. Well, that's convenient. There was Liam. He was heartbroken, disillusioned. And you thought that might be a good time to make your move? Oh, you saw the video. You know that I wasn't coming on to him or trying to trick him into coming back to me. No, he did that all on his own. You didn't have to encourage him. You could have made him stop and think. In the moment, I believed Hope didn't deserve the consideration. She left him on their wedding day in a note. Only it didn't happen that way. Yes, we, we know that now, and Liam's trying to make it right. I just don't know if he can. I have to wonder. Hope is devastated. Then why don't you help her? Make her understand how emotions can take over when there's three people involved, when there's a misunderstanding exactly what happened in Italy. Liam loves her. I mean, he married her. Maybe she should start having a little more faith in that. If you had been with anybody else, it would have hurt and it would have been hard to take. 
But at least I would have known it was meaningless. All the history, all the love you share with Steffi, that's what I saw in the video. You're still in love with her. You left that hotel room and then an hour later pledged your love to me. Even if I could forgive you, how could I ever forget? I don't think I can. Well, no, I just, uh, you know, just... Do you at least have your own holding cell? Good news. I was calling in a favor. It looks like you might pull a bond today after all. Oh, oh yes. Fantastic. Thanks, Pop, really, for everything you're doing for me, man. You're my son. I'm gonna always have your back. Same here. Yeah. We all love you, Marcus. Especially me. You know, it's times like this when everything's all crazy and hectic. You, you can always go to family and friends. Okay, so what am I looking at? Aggravated reckless driving with a lesser count of texting while operating a motor vehicle. Sentence? Come on, man. You haven't been convicted of anything. Thomas, I did the crime, okay? And the police know it. But son, I, I needed you to shut your mouth on this one. Well, I wasn't gonna lie, Pop. Yeah, I understand, but the point is to say nothing. Yeah, and I know this is what you taught me, but I'm not wired like that, okay? I'm not just gonna sit up there and lie about it. Okay. You know, I do something, I take full responsibility. It's true, I mean, you did. Even in the situation, you did the right thing. You stopped, you called for help. He even rode with Anthony in the ambulance. It's clear you never meant to hurt anyone. But I did, and now there's consequences. Pop, you didn't answer me. What am I looking at, man? Marcus, this is to be determined by a presiding judge. We're looking at 30 days to six months. Six months? Jail time. Yes, that's the worst case scenario. I just don't get it. He learned his lesson. What would be gained by having jail time? Do you know how many texts your husband sent and received that day? 157. Now that's way beyond just being on the grid. And I've got a hunch, a strong hunch, that more than one of them was sent from behind the wheel. Hope has had faith in Liam and in their love for each other. And she's been disappointed more times than I care to remember. Yeah, I think that's called life. You know, I had to roll with the punches, so, so did you. Hope doesn't see things the way you and I see things. She has different expectations. Well, maybe Hope needs to join the real world. Human beings are flawed. We make mistakes, just like Liam and I in Italy. You almost had everything you always wanted. So you expect me to believe that what went on between you and Liam in that hotel room was a mistake? <laughs> you know, I, I, I'd taken myself out of the running, remember? Liam went off to exchange vows with Hope and I wish them well. Now that you know their marriage is invalid, what do you intend to do with that? What happens next is between Hope and Liam. Well, really Hope, because Liam is standing by his commitment. And to be honest, Hope would be a fool not to forgive him. And you know, if he comes back to me, I take him in a heartbeat. I've always been honest with you about my feelings for Steffi. Yeah, you, you'll always have a love for her. And it's one thing to hear you say those words, even, even to see you in public, the the smiles, the looks, the private jokes between the two of you, but I, I think it really is a good thing that I saw that video. What? How can you say that? You want her. No, I don't, I want you. Liam, I'm married to you. Liam, you almost slept with Steffi on our wedding day. You were leaving Italy to start a new life with her. Because I thought I lost you. <sighs> I'm not making an excuse. It was wrong for me to turn to Steffi like that. Yeah, and it was wrong of her to let you. Yes, Hope, and we both know that now. Look, I should have known 
that the letter wasn't from you, that you wouldn't do that to me on our wedding day. And, I, and I'm not making excuses. I take full responsibility for that. I just, I just want you to wipe the slate clean. Set the clock at when you were walking down those steps. Oh, do you not remember my beautiful bride? Do you not remember the look in my eyes? The words I said to you during my vows? And I promise never to let a day go by where I don't tell you how much you mean to me. As long as we both shall live. Liam, I would love to pick up and move on. To accept that what happened between you and Steffi really doesn't matter. But it does. Wish that I could pretend you've let Steffi go. But it just wouldn't be the truth. No, don't do that. Hope. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. We can work this out. Hope. You got any idea how much texting you were doing that day? No. Oh, what, that's just normal for you? 157 texts? It was the day before our wedding. He had a million things to take care of. I'm talking to the groom. Pardon me, my son does not have to answer your questions, and as his attorney, I am advising him not to. If you're making the point that my texting was out of control, then... Hey, I figured you'd recognize that when you slammed into an innocent pedestrian. Lieutenant, I'm asking if you could leave us alone. I would like to confer with my client. You and your rich, powerful friends. So what happened? Couldn't use all that Spencer Forrester influence to get an immediate bond hearing? Or your family will show up in the morning to take you home. Take you back to that nice, cozy lifestyle. Enjoy it while you can. I'll see you in court. She's not here? She left. To go where? She didn't say. And I don't know if she's coming back. You can't be surprised that Hope is devastated by what she saw with you and Steffi. I, I tried. I tried to explain to her how it happened, how much I love her. I just couldn't get anywhere. She tore up our wedding papers. I don't even know if she wants to be married anymore. Hope, wait. You have something you want to say to me? I'm sorry. Have you ever had a run-in with Lieutenant Baker? Never. What is his problem? I don't know. Maybe he had a loved one that was, you know, hit by a reckless, distracted driver. 
Reckless driver. How did that ever become me, huh? Hitting someone, texting behind the wheel, hitting Anthony. It was one mistake. A mistake you'll never make again. But it only takes one to mess up your life. Just thank God Anthony's okay. I mean, at least we can be grateful for that, right? But if I don't get out of here... Stop. Do not say that. Okay? You're not going to jail. You are coming home. And we are going to start our life together. I knew it. You know, I knew this would happen. See, this is exactly why Steffi and I didn't want to tell her. And she finds it on your computer, of all places. I mean, you tell me to delete every copy, she finds it I on know, your... I know, I know. I don't know how that happened. It got transferred by mistake. Yeah, a lot of that going on lately, huh? So how do you intend to make it right? Well, not giving up on hope, if that's what you mean. You're sorry? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, right. That's what you said when Liam only told me half the truth. When all I thought that happened between you was a kiss. You've been lying to my face every day. Okay, okay. Liam thought that you left him, all right, on your wedding day. He was confused, and he was angry, and he was upset. And then you felt his pain. I'm not ashamed of that. No, of course you're not, because you two are oh so connected. I know, I saw. And you, you never should have. Well, you two are supposed to be happy together, okay? And you, you can still have that. Why? You actually want me to stay with Liam. God, Steffi, it's really noble of you. Can you just stop and, and I, you know, I, look, okay, I, I, I bet you don't believe me, but I'm just hoping that you will listen to me. You married a great guy and he loves you so much. Do not let this misunderstanding ruin something that you worked so hard to have. Steffi, every single time I think about my wedding, I'm going to remember that on that day, he was making out with you, planning a life with you. But he married you, so don't be a fool and throw that away. Well, actually, it was just a ceremony. You know, technically, in California, we're not really married. So then fix it. Go down to a judge or whatever and exchange your vows again. Look at me. You are the most forgiving person that I know, all right? You are. But please, don't hate Liam. Hate me. Hate me, okay? Hate me for betraying you. Just give Liam a break. Steffi, you want Liam so much? Here. Take it. Come on, Steffi. You know you want to. Take the ring. Take Liam. 